Robin George was in earlier this morning, so I sat him down, made him a cup of tea and had a good old chin wag with him. We filmed it. Here it is now. Robin George. Robin George. Welcome to Monsters of Rock. What's a nice boy like you doing on a show like this? What? <laughs> <laughs> no, because your music isn't actually described as heavy metal, is it? I mean, you um, wouldn't describe it as heavy metal. Personally, I wouldn't, no. Yeah. Um, having said that, I've got three records three, yeah. in the heavy metal charts at the moment, um, and none of them are in the slightest bit heavy. Yeah. But again... Sorry, uh, go on, yeah. Well, the, we kind of, uh, we're, we're out on tour at the moment and there's a lot of heavy rock fans coming mm. and really enjoying it, so I seem to sell records to heavy metal people, so... You do indeed. Great. And also, your music's described as sort of temporary, uh, contemporary. Tem <laughs> temporary. Temporary is even better, yeah, I like contemporary. it. Contemporary. Why, I mean, why do you always sort of sidestep conventional um, music? It's not a conscious thing. I mean, uh, I just feel that at the moment, it's like 1985, there's a lot of computers available yeah. for music. Um, and there's not too many people using it within like the rock and roll sphere, as mm. it were. So uh, I am. You know. And you've been doing a lot of studio music, music uh, producing certainly. People like Rothschild, Diamond Head. Yeah. Uh, how, how's that feel? I mean, is that something Great. you enjoy doing? Um, obviously. But... Yeah, it's it's good. You know, the, the Rothschild thing was. Uh, at first, I was a little bit worried about it, but they've got a great sense of humour and they're into hard work. You know. <laughs> it's very humor, important, yeah. Is it? Especially when you look like that, yeah. Well, what, I mean, <laughs> it's heavy again. I mean, what if someone approached you and said, well, what, we've got a jazz funk uh, you know, great. album? I mean, uh, You'd be into that yeah, too, would you? Unfortunately, I don't seem to have too much time at the moment, but next year, I'm going to get back into production. Mm. And, yeah, I'm into doing anything that's good to start with. You know. And you're gigging at the moment. Yep. And I know certainly tonight you're opening for really John Ross, that's who right. is going to be on the show later on. Yeah, it's Hammersmith Odeon tonight. Yeah. yeah, and what about Europe? Can you give us any um, we go gig dates? We start in France, I think it's next week. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to Germany, Belgium, <coughs> Ireland. Everywhere else in Europe. Great really. stuff, yeah. And, when, and you're just doing the British tour at the moment? Yeah, I think that finishes later this week. Great. Well, let's have a look at your video. This is Heartline, Robin George. Your crazy attitude is falling. Everyone's fun. All you want to do is take the money.
end, isn't it? That was Heartline and Robin George. So you've been doing producing, OK? And, eyes, uh, I can see your eyes Eyes, <laughs> eyes yeah. Um, so you've been producing, obviously. Uh, any more plans along that way? Um, as I say, I've, I've really got to concentrate on me for the next, I don't know, year or so. Yeah. But then I'd like to get into working with uh, a girl, a good You're girl. You're going to work singer. with a girl, are you? Yeah. Like, that's what I'd like to do. You want to it? produce, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, now, your, your album, OK, Dangerous Music, who produced that? Um, well, we started out with a guy called John Ryan, who um, unfortunately we didn't kind of... He, he wanted to change what I want to do. Oh, uh, really? Yeah. yeah so, so, obviously, with uh, my production back background, I knew more what I wanted, and I didn't really agree with so his ended ideas. ended up producing it yourself? Yeah, the last stages, I had to remix it all and re-record some of it. Yeah. Crumbs, yeah. quite. Did you pay him? <laughs> it was a very expensive mistake, I can I'm imagine, saying. yeah. And you didn't find this out till you're actually in the studio? Um, no, it's always the same. It's always too late by the time, you know, when you realise. So, yeah. And you had Phil Liner and Dave Holland on the album. That's right, album, yeah. mm -hmm. Which must have been great fun. Right, competition time. This, which you use, don't you actually... Where do you actually use this? <laughs> Not that actual one, yeah. No, but, I mean, no, uh, this is a copy of it. Yeah, I... Uh, <laughs> The guitar that that's modelled from is, yeah. uh, I mean, maybe a good question is, what's the name of the actual guitar that we modelled all those from? So the question is, what's the actual name of the model of guitar that this is? That I actually from? play, yeah. Right. And you've also got some albums. An yeah. album, a single. This is good, album. isn't it? Oh, it it was be, good. Yeah. It was very good. <laughs> there you that, are. That was good as well. <laughs> We just <laughs> yeah, this is and, an album, yeah. and this is what you can win. Let me give you the address, OK? It's Amanda Reddington, Monsters of Rock Show, 31, 36, Foley Street, London, W1. And look, also badges, look, you can win badges. Badges. Dangerous music album. No. OK, the question is, what is this model? <laughs> what is this? Yeah. What is this? <laughs> what is this anyway? <laughs> Robin George, thank you very much. Loads of luck with the gigs, the success. You've got a new album. Uh, you're working on a new album now, yeah, aren't you? Yeah, starting new. Very soon. Lots of luck with that. Come back and see us soon, yeah? Thank you. Okay. Cheers. Robin George.